Greetings, OCG. I trust that this video email or whatever um, process we're going to use to get this to you is finding you well. But just wanted to have an opportunity to say a few things to you prior to our relaunch on this coming Sunday, June 28th. Sister Sweeney? Yes, on Sunday we're going to be relaunching. We're opening up our building for regular service. However, a lot of things are going to be a little different. You will be asked to go online, do an evite, and reserve seating due to the fact that the government's only allowing us X amount of people in the building. You'll need to reserve your seat. I believe that that's going to be open on Thursday. They're going to close it on Friday. You can email Pastor Webb with extra information. I think she's sweb1022 at gmail.com. Or you can text me at 301-741-8123 for further information. We're going to have outdoor seating as well for those that are part of the overflow or just do not want to be inside the building amongst other people due to the social distancing and the uh, coronavirus we're dealing with. Um, we'll be having an outdoor screen in the awning area so you will be able to stay dry and comfortable and that too will be provided. So we're trying to follow everything that the Anne Arundel County Executive has asked us to do to stay within um, their guidelines and the CDC guidelines. I also want to add in right here, if you're a member of OCG or if you are one of our leaders uh, or if you are part of our church ministry in any way and you are just not comfortable right now returning to being in an environment like a church service or around other people, we want to let you know that that's okay. Um, it will not affect your status as a member. It won't affect your status as a leader. We want you to be comfortable. The coronavirus is serious. Uh, very serious complications have arose from it. And we also know that we have people who may be in a situation where your health is compromised or someone that you're close to whose health might be compromised by uh, putting yourself in a position to uh, encounter other people in a close proximity. And so I just wanted to say that to you. you can, if that's you and you're not comfortable yet, please stay home and continue to enjoy our services via Zoom and social media. We'll still continue to stay contacted with you. We're still going to reach out and touch you in many ways and, and still be talking to you. But the primary focus here is if you want to be in church, come. If you're not comfortable with that setting yet, we don't want you to be here. We want you to do what's comfortable for you, and we want to let you know that we're okay with that. God bless you if you're in a situation that you're not feeling um, like you're, you're ready to uh, engage in normal life any as, as it was, excuse me, as it was in the past. We're okay with that. Uh, we're going to continue to minister to you and love you, and we're here for you, and you're still a part of this fellowship and faith, and we want you to know that. There will be no children's ministries, activities outside of our Zoom. There will be no teenagers gathering together as well. We're going to try to keep everybody within family groupings um, just to keep our social distancing. We do have something going on though Friday evening, this coming Friday night with our young adults. We're going to have a pizza bash, a pizza social. And you say, oh, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do it in the parking lot. But we're going to do social distancing with our cars being spaced out. You can have a chair sitting outside your car. We ask that you wear a mask, except for when you're eating the pizza or drinking a drink. And we're going to maintain social distancing, but we're going to be together. There'll be some music and just some time of fellowship at a distance. And so that'll be Friday evening. And uh, see, you can contact Sister Nakia for more information or again 301-741-8123 by text and I can get you that information as needed, direct you to the right person. Saturday will be our women's tea. At 3 o'clock will be our Zoom tea that Sister Ingrid does and she and I partner to do that for the women. Again, that is Saturday, this coming Saturday at 3 o'clock. Those are important events and important things. And finally, I want to speak to you about our giving. Uh, I want to thank you for your faithfulness. Uh, Al has been, keep, Brother Al's been keeping me up to speed. He and uh, Sister Sharon uh, 
and our finance committee has continued to meet and look at where we are financially. And you have been faithful in your giving. We want to thank you for that. Thank you for continuing to realize that this ministry goes on and there are still expenses connected with us, even if we're not necessarily meeting together. But I do want to point out to you a need that we have. This is not to take a special offering, just for you to pray about. And it's an encouragement for you to continue to be faithful in your current giving. It's going to cost us in the neighborhood of $11,000 to open up our building. And I just want to share that with you quickly. We had a heat pump go down. Um, our commercial units out back had to be serviced with belts and um, with uh, filters and all of that. Uh, we've had to have some other heating work done and some AC work just because our units set for so long without being used. And so all of that has been done along with some outdoor maintenance that needed to happen. And I want to thank Sister Arlene for overseeing that. And uh, by the time you get here on Sunday, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And then also we have uh, to have the building cleaned and sterilized before you come. All of those expenses together. Again, most of that, Sister Arlene has been overseen uh, under the direction of our campus pastor, Pastor Webb. And all of that costs money and ultimately to the tune of about $11,000. So continue to give. There are expenses. There are needs. Uh, we're continuing to meet those needs. Uh, we've continued to function as a church, and it's because of your prayers and your faithfulness, and I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank all of our leaders who have been on Zoom meeting, all the leaders who have been out working in the church this week to prepare it for Sunday morning, and for the people who continue to work very hard, even though we're not necessarily meeting in church. And again, to thank our sanctuary, um, forgive me, not our sanctuary pastor, but our campus pastor, Pastor Webb, and Minister Damon for all the work that they've been doing and all the leadership that they've been providing. It has been incredible, and we thank you for that. God bless you guys. We love you, and we're looking forward to Sunday, Sister Sweeney. Amen. We're just excited that we get to move forward. We haven't missed a beat. We've had our Zoom meetings, our Zoom classes. So many things are still going on, and we just thank the good Lord that we have technology and we have a time that we can still get together. Amen. God bless you guys.